Hey, hello everyone, what is cooking all you good looking people out there and welcome to another exciting episode of GeoGuessr. Here we are in yesterday's daily challenge location. Woo, baby, what a interesting place. Why is it interesting? Well, because we've got the Sam Squanch over here, Sasquatch, Yeti, uh, whatever the hell you want to call it. I mean, it's not it's like a lemur or some kind of other small uh, monkey. It's macaque. It's a macaque right over there. Uh, I don't know really what kind of uh, animal that is, but it's painted on the side of this RV. People call these camper vans? I don't know. Oh, no, it's like, a, it's like a trailer one, maybe. It might be one of the trailer ones. I don't know what people call these. Uh, caravan? People call these caravans? Fuck, I have no idea. But, uh, there you go. It's an RV, uh, and there's a weird monkey painted on the side of it. And maybe these are, like, several bananas. Where in the world are we? Well, you know, I gotta say, what country is weird enough to got some crazy people with, uh, with, uh, that's got, uh, some strange, uh, monkeys on the side of their vans? It's gotta be Canada, uh, up over here. Where in Canada are we? You know, we've gotta be in, uh, we gotta be in Ontario. Uh, you know, near, yeah, near North Bay. Near North Bay. North Bay, actually, a beautiful place. Um, there you go. I've been, I've been to North Bay before. I've been to Sudbury before. They're nice places. Let's make the guess and no, but hey, 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 I got it right. It was Canada. It's the Yukon, actually. The Yukon. Who knows where that person came from? Uh, probably they, probably this is not, well, you know, they go near Mayo. Oh, very cool. 1660. Hopefully some of you guys got that one right. All right, here we are in today's daily challenge location. Now you might be thinking, oh, this is going to be easy. It's underwater. I can just go look up where the photospheres are and uh, find out where this is. And, uh, you know, you're probably right. This is the daily challenge and this might be an easy one if you cheat. But I do ask that if you want to play along, um, don't don't cheat. Just try and guess where this is. The reason why I chose this one is because, as you can see, we've got a turtle over here and uh, there is a turtle over here, which is pretty cool, but we got an, oh, look at this guy, <laughs> oh, look at that, there's a turtle right here, up close, we can see it, I don't know, just spawning in right here with uh, this view of, like, this crazy formation right here, with these awesome little fish going around, and this big sea turtle right there, I don't know, I thought this looked so cool, you know, I don't think I've ever seen a sea turtle up close in real life, maybe I have, but I don't remember, I mean, I've been to aquariums and stuff, but I don't know. I don't think I've ever really seen a sea turtle up close like this. They really look cool. My God, they look a lot better than land turtles. These things look look awesome. Really cool. Anyways, this is today's daily challenge. It means it's up to you guys to tell me where in the world you think we are. Put your guesses down in the uh, comment section below, and if you're the person that guesses closest, uh, I announce you as the winner in tomorrow's video's comment section. Now, there's no prize, but there is glory to be won. And if you want that glory, don't cheat, you know? Don't go looking at, like, Google Maps underwater views, and you'll find, like, a list of maybe, like, 10 or 15 places, and then you can just sort through 15, like, different places and find uh, which one uh, this is. You know, try and just make a guess at, uh, randomly. Where in the world do you think we are right now? Okie dokie, here we are in the main section of today's video, and today it is a viewer challenge, one brought to us by a viewer like you. It's like some PBS stuff, isn't it? You know, uh, this channel is brought to you by brought to you by contributions from viewers like you. Is that is that something they say on on PBS? Or is that another channel I might be thinking of? I have uh, no idea. Actually, it might not be PBS. Eh, it might be PBS. I, I'm, I'm, I'm thinking. Uh, but I don't really remember. Anyways, uh, this viewer challenge is brought to us by NYO117. Thank you so much, NYO117, for this challenge. This is Travel Jealousy 2 or maybe 3 or 4 at this point. I'm not really sure. Uh, I think that's what I'm going to call it because this is Places, our friend, NYO117 has uh, been. You know, it's not as exciting as some of the last places that we've seen, like uh, Uzbekistan, we saw that. I think that was the most memorable one, because it's the only one I remember for sure out of uh, where um, the other challenges have been. So, you know, the, the first time around, that was where the super memorable locations have been. This one, apparently these are going to be a little bit less crazy but uh, still you know i get to be jealous of where our friend has been maybe you get to be jealous as well or hey maybe you've been there or maybe you live there so that's always fun thank you so much nyo117 for this challenge also if you're interested in creating your own custom challenge 
just uh, look down in the description below. You can find step-by-step -step guide how to create your own and how to send it to me. Also, you can find the link to this challenge so you can play along. Let's do it. Challenge accepted. So, we are, oh, look at that. A Museum of Medieval Torture Instruments. That's in, I don't know. I don't know where that is. 1912 to 2012. Oh, a Museum of Medieval Vivaldi Four Seasons concert. Okay, interesting. So we've got a, a language that looks a lot like uh, like a language you find around around here, something like Hungary or something like that. No, not Hungary. Um, which is the one that uh, uh, is something like Slovenia, maybe. Some is a language you know it's got the little swoops over the e's, something like that. Museum of Young Art, in Art Banka. Interesting. Now I can move around. I know that, uh, but uh, you know I can still. We're in Europe. We know that much. Museum of Medieval Torture Instruments. It's right over there. Well, I guess we might as well just um, you know keep uh, taking a look at this stuff because it's really cool. Okay, what have we got over here? Um, hmm. Uh, now this looks like there might might say something, but I don't know what it says. Now, if that says anything, I, I can't read that. That might be that might be like uh, you know the transit authority or or whatever it is uh, of wherever this place is. But I'm I'm not really sure. Something sponsored by Microsoft. So, okay. Um, I feel like Slovenia is not a bad guess, but I don't, I'm still not 100% sure that's where we are. Looking down over here and seeing this thing right here, uh, I mean, no, it's Stare Mesto, Novo Mesto, is there, is there an older one? Where's, the Novo probably means, it might mean new, so where's the old one? Where's, uh, where's Old Mesto? Is, is Old Mesto around here? I mean, it might be, but it, you know, it, might, it as well might not be. And I don't know where Praha is. Is Praha a place? It very well could be, but I have no idea. Um, okay, so let's, uh, let's go around. Let's place our guest right down, right down here for right now. And let's go around, uh, trying to figure stuff out. Slovenia is my current guess, be mostly because of the swoops on the letters, uh, but that's about as much as I can do. Original Czech. Well, you know, we are... You know, we're, we're, we're two countries off. Do the, do the Czech do uh, the swoops? They do do the swoops. Okay. They like they like swoops as well. Um, so there you go. That, that might be a choice. I think that makes a... I mean, it's not like it makes more sense to travel there than it does... Uh, do could could the Praha thing be Prague? Could that be what it is? Maybe it very well could be. I have no idea where it is, but you know they do the swoops on the letters too. So I might go. I might go with that. All right. Well, we can go down there. You know, going to the Czech Republic makes a. I guess it doesn't really make more sense, but you know, going to Prague is definitely a place like that. Sounds like, that sounds like a vacation I'd like to do. Uh, going to Prague, so I feel like there's a good chance that that could be this. I have no idea, uh, but uh, you know I can make I can make a guess. 1912 to 2012. 1912, two years before World War One. I. I don't know what that necessarily means, but look at that. See, it says it says Pra uh, right there. CZ. Now, do I think is there another city that that matches pra something with pra ba pra pra something uh, uh more than more than Prague? Not really. So I kind of have to guess Prague. Really, I'm, I feel like that's probably my my best guess. For whatever reason, I always forget that the Czech Republic does the swoops as well. But um. You know, there is that. I'm guessing that also Slovakia does them as well. They, yeah, they do the swoops as well. Um, and Slovenia does them. And other countries. Prague. 
Okay, that's good. So we're going to call this Prague. Uh, where in Prague? Should I really bother with this the upcoming part here? No, is the answer. I don't think I will. So I'm going to go right over here, call it this street, and there you go. We were a little bit off, but I didn't feel like uh, guessing too close. I didn't really I didn't really even notice the river. That's sad. I probably should have noticed it. Mm, that's, uh, okay, that 2329. Uh, Great. Okay, Prague. That's cool. That's not a, that's not anywhere to sneeze at. Where's this? This place is also really cool. Well, I think I'm going to go down towards the city instead of This reminds me of something actually. This reminds me of This reminds me of one of those small micro countries. But I don't know which one. Cuz this is this this location right here, it feels oh, wow. It's just weird that we just kind of popped out right there. Um, oh, I guess that is the way. All right. It feels like I've seen something like this before, but I don't know why. Hmm. I no, I don't think I have seen this before, but it looks a lot like other places. Could this be one of those very small countries that we could be in? Well, we got a map here. I might as well take a look at that. Can I see more of the map? I... Uh, not much to see there. That's too bad. I feel like this could be something like... I feel like this could be... Uh, my, first, my first instinct was that this was Andorra. So, you know... Let's go look at... What's the shape of Andorra? It looks like that. What's the shape of this? It doesn't quite look the same. But if I zoom in, see there's like a road there. This road could be parts of this road right here. You know, we could be any of many places. Any of many places. Wow. I feel like that's probably not a bad, a bad way of guessing this. But we are in very narrow streets here. Let's try and dump ourselves down. Supermarket. Uh, X Grand Valera Park in Keneal. Huh, maybe I'm maybe I'm reading this wrong. Maybe this oh. Okay. Well, you know, <laughs> that's a bit embarrassing because, you know, I mean look at this. That that might even be an O, but you know, look at this and look at like where I was just zoomed into. And then say, and then I, I read this and I say, oh, maybe I'm, maybe I'm reading this wrong. When in fact, I think I probably, I probably just zoomed into the right place, didn't I? All right, well, you know, that's that's gonna be that. We were on, we were like right here then. Um, I think, I think I have zoomed into the right place actually. <laughs> that's really funny. Did I zoom in and or yeah, I think I zoomed into the right place. There you go. It's, uh, Two points off the maximum. That's really funny. <laughs> I was just zoomed in here. And then I stopped paying attention to the map. Uh, and then I was looking away. And I was like, yeah, I might have read this wrong. Nope. I was right. Okay. Uh, that's cool. Andorra. Wow, you've been there too? Jeez. My god, lots of cool European locations. More to come. Uh, as this is obviously as well a European location. Casa Oriental. Okay. Spain? That's about as far as I get right here. Uh, uh, Merida. Okay. Well, that, that feels like, uh, that feels like, um, it feels like something we would see around here, this area. So I'm going to place this right here for now. Let's go look around. Uh, do I? No, I don't really see much. All right. So let's go look down over here and see. What do we what do we see here? Uh, something Porto, something. Okay, that's good. We got got a lot of cool stuff. Crystal, Carlos Alberto's over there. Wow, that guy must be really popular. Um, for ha to have a sign pointing directly towards his home. What a. Well, I guess that's probably actually. I was gonna say what a lucky bastard, but honestly, I don't know if that's actually something that I would want. A sign just pointing towards my home. Vital teeth. We've got a lot of good stuff. I feel like we're around this area in Spain. Um, probably in a big city. Probably Malaga, to be honest. If I had to just make a guess, I would go like 
place us right there for now. But um, I'm not entirely too sure about that. So I can go look at this bus. Now, do buses here like telling us where they are buses of? That actually kind of looks like a P, or it ends with ES, so that could be Spain, but it kind of looks like P, which means we could be in Portugal, uh, if I just zoomed in. That's possible as well. Uh, let's go look around. Does... Hmm. Oh, hold on. Is that a C with a little thing underneath it? Because we may be in Portugal then. Is that a C with a, with a little thing underneath it? Not 100% sure, but it might have been. All right, let's go look on this bus over. Oh, come on. Really? Oh, I, I can move. All right. STCP. Society of Transport of CP. Of uh, CP. Where's, where's CP? Porto? This could be Porto. Um, but other than that, I'm kind of leaning towards Portugal, actually, now. Oh, yeah, all right, there you go. Beautiful. So CP, is that Lisbon? Do we think uh, CP or ST? Society of Transport is essentially what that's going to be. Transport Society or Transport whatever. C, um, um, maybe, it's, maybe uh, C is like public transport. So that's what it could be. And then the P, I believe, is going to be the important one. P is Porto. We're in Porto. So that would be uh, public transit, say, uh, Porto Public Transit Committee. That's what that would mean. But the P is the C and the S is the society and the T is the transit. All right. That's what I think that means. I'm going to say we're in Porto. We're in Porto uh right over oh come on no don't 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 there you go right there yeah that's it i wonder if that's what that means should i i'm a bit, I'm a bit too curious so let's find out what that's what that stands for uh s t c p porto um come on give me no not at all uh it apparently Porto Tram City Tour. That's what that stands for. No, okay. Um, okay. Society of Transport pa Collective um, of Porto. So I guess I was right. Society of Transport Collective, which I guess means public. Yeah, I guess I was right. Okay, I was right. Cool. Done. Awesome. There you go. See, I called that one. 6342. Boom. Uh, that wasn't very interactive, what I just did there, looking up something on my phone. Uh, but then again, you know, what can I do? You know, I, I was curious, and it's not like I was going to Google it on here because, well, you never know. Uh, you never know what kind of results could pop up. So what have we got? Via Vecchia. I've That sounds like Italian to me. So Italy. All right. Where in Italy are you going to show off that you've been today? You've been to, well, I mean, I would like to say Florence for whatever reason, or Venice, but I'm going to put the marker on Naples for now, just because it sounds like nipples. And you know, who they, everyone, everyone can be a fan of nipples. Um, we've got like a carousel going here, which is pretty sweet. People hanging out, people sitting on like globes and stuff like that. Wow. Well, people love sitting on them. Apparently they don't, I mean, I guess there you go. This place what you can see if you're some kind of like city planner and you're looking at this place, this place needs more benches. Every single one of these has people sitting on them. People are just sitting on these circles. So you know, hey, it's a big square. Put put some benches in. People need them. Uh, what else do we see here? Should we go look at the buses again? We play the bus game. The bus game is a little bit more fun than the road game. So if, um, I don't think we're going to pass the bus. Uh, well, what kind of flags do we got here? It has some Italian flags. That's good. We can go take a look just to confirm. Beautiful. Italian flags. Uh, I probably should have stick towards the, um, towards the, uh, towards the square there. Firenze, no, it doesn't really tell us anything. That doesn't really tell us anything. We definitely are in Italy, but other than that, 
Firenze. I, I don't know. It feels like it means something, but I don't really know what it means. So we're good. Um, what else can I see there or around here? Let's go down, uh, down this way. Um, do I, do I really know? No, nice. oh, hold on. What does this say? Florentina. All right. Well, uh, that, hold on. The Firenze. Okay. Firenze. Is that, the, what does that mean? What, what is the English city name for that city? Is it Florence? I mean, no, it, that, but, um, hmm. I feel like, yeah, I, when I saw the name, it felt like it meant something. It felt like a name I should know. I don't want to just say we're in Florence, but it might, that might be right. Does, does this word right here mean Florence? I don't think it does, but it might. It's a bit too far from Florence to be it. I wouldn't have really thought. I would have thought Florence would have looked maybe a little bit more like this. But I can't find the other one. I don't think it's nipples. We're not there. But honestly, though... Huh. Guess I'm going to have to go... Guess I'm gonna have to go with Florence on this one. All right, we're gonna go with Florence on it. Yeah, it was Florence. There you go. I wanted to say Florence in the beginning. I just placed us on nipples because I had no clue that it was Florence. The answer was indeed Florence. 64, 54. This is gonna be somewhere completely different or maybe not that different. Oh, yeah, it's gonna be different, but where? Hmm. It's a good question. I don't know. Yellow license plates, big mountains, castle type rock. Uh, we can only move this way. All right. Well, we can move this way. This looks like a truck that would be somewhere like parking. Oh, okay. Private parking. That's cool. But where? Where is this private parking? Hmm. Okay. Air conditioning, stuff like that. Click forward. So we'll move. But I'm a little bit confused as to where we could be. You've been here. Wow, that's really impressive. I mean, it's awesome. I'd like to go here. I'd like to go really the all the places. All the places you've been in this challenge have been really, really cool. So we're in a Roca transport. We're in a Europe kind of location. Where in Europe, though, is uh, still a big question. I don't quite know the answer to. There seems to be someone in some kind of military uniform. And there seems to be French. Uh, at least as far as I can tell. Is this a part of France? Oh, maybe, maybe this is, uh, maybe this is, uh, Corsica. Of Corsica, it's Corsica. Yeah, right? What other part of France could possibly look like this? The yellow plates? French. The uh, Europe? France. The French? France. Is it really all French? I'm still a bit confused. I haven't really... Okay, yeah, it is French. There you go. Now I've actually looked at it. Um, okay, Corsica it is. Where? Uh, yeah, this seems to say Corsica. Yeah, okay, so we got a lot of stuff. Uh, Corbara. Is Corbara a place? Doesn't really seem to be. Uh, I don't know what Corbara is. Uh, what do we have? Um, hmm. Well, we got like a castle at the end of like a stick. And is this like a big place? It doesn't really look that big, I'll be honest. So, okay, so there's there doesn't appear to be a castle at the end of a stick here. Uh, so that's not it. What about down in the south? Is there No, there's no castle at the end of a stick. Why do why am I keep calling it a stick? I don't really know. I'll I have to be honest. <clears throat> Man, get to drink some water. 
Um, over here. No, no castle there. No castle there. A bit confused as to where we could possibly be. I don't really see it. All right. Well, where could this castle be? Hold on. Maybe, be that sign right there. Uh, is that a place? Not that I can really tell. Hmm. No, it doesn't seem to be. All right. Let's go looking along. We can see more stuff. I probably should have looked more at those signs, but again, we are on Corsica. Fairly certain of that, which is super cool that you've been there in real life. I mean, that's that's fantastic. Uh, Illa Rosa. There you go. So that's where we are. There's the castle. We were uh, up here. From there you go. We're down there, and we just crossed that. Yep. All right. That's where we were. Uh, so oh. <laughs> What? You can do this? That's a thing you can do? Oh my god. Well, that's cheating, isn't it? But, you know, that just confirms that that's where I thought it was. But that's... Oh, wow, that, that's that's a very cheaty thing to do, isn't it? Alright, well, whatever. Uh, I can place that down right there. Beautiful. 6477. That was that was really crazy how that happened. 6477. Very, very cool. Awesome. So, there you go. 32,079. My god. If only I had cared more uh, for where I placed the first location, that would have been a ridiculous score. Except for the first one, the one in Prague, I was like, oh, I'll just put as in Prague. Whatever. Uh, so, there you go. Prague was the first one. That was uh, pretty sweet. Then we were uh, in Andorra. Ooh, very cool. Had that one zoomed in right on the right location pretty early on. Then we were in Porto in Portugal. Looked at the buses. In Florence in Italy. I guessed Florence initially, but placed us on Nipples. Then back to Florence. And right here, uh, Illa Rosa. Uh, I guess like the, the, the pink island or whatever. It, it really depends. This word doesn't mean pink. It really means like uh, red hair. But that's fine. Or red-ish. Uh, if you wanna, if you wanna do that, but that's that's cool. There you go, Red Island, as I'm gonna call it. Um, so thirty-two thousand seventy-nine, great score, awesome. What cool places uh, to have been? I'd love to go in all of these places. Actually, they all seem very fun. Hopefully, you guys have enjoyed this episode. And as always, I'll see you guys next time. Ah yeah, cue the royalty-free music. Three, two, one, go. Come on, everybody, get on your feet. Stand up, look at the screen, and repeat. I'm gonna like, rate, comment, and subscribe. I love watching Aether vids all of the time. Thanks for dropping by and spending the time. Hope you've enjoyed, and let's get on with our lives. Oh, yeah. Thanks to Kevin McLeod for these awesome beats. Oh, yeah. Have a good one. Bye.